Um, hello, good morning or good afternoon. My name is Pierre Paolo Michelli. I'm the founder of eOffice. And? Hello, my name is Emma Perrotta and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Bicudo. On the 28th and 29th of June, there will be the Co-working London Conference and Pierre Paolo is the main organizer of this event. Pier Paolo, do you want to tell us something about what is the idea behind the Co-working London Conference and why such an event is needed? Yeah, that, that is correct. Uh, we are excited to um, and look forward to our fifth edition of the Co-working London Conference. Uh, it is um, a very interesting um, um, conference discussing the future of work and different ways of uh, using um, a space um, in, a, in, a, in a flexible way. Um, it is a rotating conference across uh, five and six different venues in London. London is the capital of co-working with different concepts and uh, the content is in particular uh, is particularly interesting with, with speakers ranging from uh, co-working specialists and operators, interior designers, facilities and managers, uh, users and different um, uh, different uh, operators um, uh, within, within the flexible office market. Can you tell us something about the relevance of co-working spaces for freelancers and independent professionals? The way we work is changing and it's changing very, very rapidly. Um, it's changing the way we work, it's changing, uh, the workers is changing and the working places, spaces are changing. Uh, um, freelancers today are, um, or, or independent professionals, they, they want to work in a space uh, um, which is more, uh, which is very comfortable, uh, which is a, a space where they can find uh, a lot of uh, amenities and features, um, but also that can give them the, the opportunity to, to be flexible and also very, very affordable. Okay, because uh, uh, being a freelancer, it could be a challenge, but it could be also very uh, rewarding. But uh, especially when you start a career as a freelancer, um, what you want to see out there, especially when you are used to work in an office, uh, what you want to see out there is a, is a space that is very, very comfortable, that is, is welcoming you and that you can afford. Basically, uh, Pier Paolo, you opened the first e office uh, here in London in 2002, and I guess at that time the idea was quite visionary. So, how did you see things changing through time from the first uh, managed office to now a sort of a movement that is the co working movement? Uh, correct, uh, e office started in 2002, at that time the word co working didn't exist. We were the first open plan concept uh, in central London, in the heart of Soho. Um, 60 desks, uh, workstations within a very creative environment, uh, nice colors, uh, lots of natural light, a lot of greens and plants, and, and breakout areas and meeting rooms. It's, um, it was a little bit um, disappointing that the market didn't grow as fast uh, as I thought. We were the only operator for the first three or four years. Uh, and now, it, I think it's the opposite now, is the market is probably growing too fast. I mean, I mean it's crazy, we have uh, huge investments uh, in the sector by um, venture capitalists, uh, big, big funds, um, uh, big equity groups, and of course, uh, many landlords are now um, looking into co-working and different ways of offering flexibility within uh, within their properties. Uh, and of course, you now have a segmentations of different offer, um, different offering, you know, women focused, for example, uh, spaces or, you know, some centers um, focusing on artificial intelligence and, 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 and uh, you know, IoT, for example, and so forth. So yes, um, at that time, the market has evolved tremendously and now, in particular in London, you have a, a lot of options, not only for the small businesses and the freelancers and nomad workers, uh, but also you have uh, more and more options for the larger corporates that can decide to uh, use uh, these creative spaces in different parts of the, of the capital um, according to their need, not only for project uh, team work, uh, and for for you know over overspill, but also for as a, as a strategic decision to 
be uh, locate a particular team in particular uh, within a creative, uh, large creative environment. Last question for both of you. First, I'm Andante Paolo. Uh, give our audience a reason to come to the conference that, let's remember, it is going to be the 28th and 29th of June in London, and it's called Co-working London Conference. I believe it's a great opportunity for um, employers or managers, uh, um, for, for you basically, to understand uh, how to deal with a new workforce. Uh, uh, which is the freelancer workforce uh, or independent professionals, as we call it at Bikudo. And um, as a company, to understand uh, how to manage uh, and to work with them in a more efficient way. Very simple. First of all, you will have the opportunity, in, it's a very intense two-day um, program. You will be able to uh, witness and see and experience six different fantastic co-working spaces. So we will be going to the office, of course, in, in the heart of Soho, uh, forest spaces in Clerkenwell with a beautiful roof terrace, uh, tech spaces, uh, very much focusing on, on, on managed office uh, solutions, mind spaces in the heart of, um, of the shortage, um, and the office group in uh, at the White Collar Factory is an award winning um, uh, building. So not only you will be able to see um, amazing spaces with great great architecture and, and great interiors. The speakers are fantastic. We have at least twenty speakers ranging from um, you know uh, full specialists or from Cushman and Wakefield in CBRE in in, in real estates. Uh, landlords, um, operators, of course, and um, and uh, and also some 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 of the users of, of the spaces. So it's a, it's a very fascinating uh, two days, and you will be able to network with like-minded individuals within within the sector. Uh, if people wants to check out the program and uh, to buy the tickets, what they have to do? Well, we have a number of um, you know options in Eventbrite. Uh, you know, to purchase the, you just type co-working London Conference 2018 and you'll be able to find it. Thank you very much to both of you. Thank you. Thank you.